On our last video, we departed Kentucky in the Turbo Saratoga and refueled at Marshall Airport in Missouri. On this video, we will then continue the flight and we will be landing at Lyman, Colorado for another fuel stop. This flight was in August and the temperatures were scorching hot. The density altitude was around 8,000 and the runway is 4,700 feet long. Doing this flight with full tanks is something I would never do in the Cherokee 6, even though the book says it's okay. But today, we're going to fill up the tanks in the Turbo Saratoga and we will have it near its gross weight limit. And we will see how this Piper performs at a density altitude of 8,000 and a runway of 4,700 feet. Welcome to Flying Dirty. All right, landing in Lyman. All right, you're here coming down. Three green. Up. Extra rich. Fuel pump fine. And then light side. And Lima traffic. Saratoga turning left base. Runway 34. Lima full stop. All right, we got three green flaps, prop full mixture, light sign. Bit of, bit of crosswind. Lima traffic, Saratoga will be backtracking on 3 4 for the ramp. Lima. Alright, we'll clean her up. Okay, we'll leave the lantern lights on for now. So, we're going to be filling up the tanks here. We have a density altitude of 8,000 feet, about 2,500 feet of runway. So we should have plenty of runway, but just to make it safer, we're going to sort of pretend that this is a very, very short field. And Lima traffic, Sarah took a clear of 3-4. Lima. All right, we're going to taxi here, get some fuel, and head on home. Head on over to Centennial. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, Saratoga started on a hot start, hot start serve. Sometimes a pain. Clear. So with a little bit of practice, every airplane, I don't know, I guess it's a little different. But with this one, one thing that I noticed is that after I fly uh, and the engine is really hot, the lines vaporize the fuel as it goes into the, uh, into the injectors. So what I have to do, I still lean it, but I turn on the fuel pump so that I can keep that fuel pushing through those lines so it doesn't evaporate. Otherwise, it'll start sputtering. All right, let's get ready to get out of here, man. I'm so tired, ready to go home. So I run up. Lights. All right, 25 degrees of flaps. Hey, Lama Traffic, you have a Saratoga take your runway 34. We're doing a uh, westbound departure. Five minutes. 
So the Turbo Saratoga performed incredibly well on this hot 8,000 foot density altitude day. I began rotating at 2,100 feet of runway. Initially, the climb was a bit clumsy, but that was probably due to the 25 degrees of flaps. Once I removed the flaps, it quickly gained speed and climb rate. Flying heavy in high density altitude is something I would never do in a Cherokee 6. And even if I had a light load, I would have to keep an eye on the temperatures in the Cherokee 6 in such a hot density altitude day. But in the Turbo Saratoga, it was not a problem at all. All right, landing at Centennial. Saratoga 728, runway 28, clear to land, wind call. 28, clear to land, port 3728. All right, here we go. Gear down. Okay, we got three green. Slow this baby down. And then light, fuel pump on, mixture rich, prop full. Land check this is completed. We'll leave it on two notches of flaps. All right, three green. Felt the litter wing shear there. We're correcting for that. Come home. 